It's about time. Hey everybody, it's Dragath of the Into StarCraft group, and I'm bringing you Game 1 of an ISC Cup Round of 16 match between Astrowolf as the Orange Terran in the upper right-hand corner, and M.I.K. as the Green Protoss in the lower left-hand corner. Now, they are on the Steps of War map, and this will be Game, as I had said, Game 1 between these two players. Um, this is the third count of uh, replays I've done where we've had uh, Protoss versus Terran, and I do believe in both circumstances Terran's won. Let me look real quick. Nope, the first one I did with Fnatic and Toy Gun, the, the uh, Protoss player won. And with Doom Dash, the one that I just did and is actually loading on my laptop next to me, uh, the Terran player won. So we're one for one with Terran versus Protoss. So let's see uh, who can win this series, um, whether it goes two or three matches, and see if the Protoss player can uh, win out and go f two for one with the races, or if the Terran will come out on top. Uh, right now we see a Supply Depot going up for Astro Wolf with M.I.K. bringing in uh, some minerals. Looks like he has a, uh, a nice little housewarming gift for uh, Astro Wolf over on this uh, nice, sh <coughs> excuse me, nice short map. But it looks like he's going to get hit with a double SCV, and M.I.K. is look at look at those waypoints, making nice little circles over there. Going to try and confuse the heck out of that SCV, and in the meantime, a barracks is coming out. Got to pump out a uh, a marine to take care of this nasty little probe right away. And my screen froze. I'm sorry for that. And run down here. We're on the Protoss player. Let's see what's happening over here. We have a gateway. Now, if you notice, the gateway isn't going up. Uh, right over here, so it looks like you might be trying to protect from some type of Reaper rush as it is a very short map. Um, it is There is a possibility of seeing Reapers, though it's not often played as I mentioned in the uh, Doom Dash game. Also, if you'll notice, Astro Wolf put his barracks way back here in the supply boat, but way back here, as opposed to walling off um, like most Terran players do. Uh, to prevent any type of uh, zealot rush again because this is a very short map uh, very quick rush distance between the two and also with a very easily uh, defended natural expansion we have the SCV coming in so we'll be able to see over here gateway comes up and we'll see if a cyber core pops up right away the minerals are there for it and yep there's a cyber core Astro Wolf got in the way cyber core goes down and he is getting a nice little scout back there as you can see we have a pylon in the back over here I don't know why my screen keeps freezing like that, but this pylon right here is actually really good placement because you see there's this big gap in the minerals. So if you wall off uh, either by force fields to keep units out, keep your units protected for some reason, then nobody can come around back and actually sneak in here with any close combat units. They're going to have to go all the way around either this way or um, or the other way. Hopefully they put he continues on and does a wall up over here so that the units actually have to force their way out but also this gives you plenty of room for a hidden tech right down over here uh, usually over here is a good place for hidden tech anyway the second gas is up and the cyber core comes up do we see, have anything else going we got a second gateway coming down over here up over on this side we have two barracks with the um, with the orbital command coming out uh, we got the tech lab and this tech lab so we're going to be doing research on the shield as well as uh, the stim pack which is going right now and we do have marine the marauders pumping out we have a marauder here uh, we don't have anything going over here yet but it looks like we're going to be having marines nope marauders so we're going to be seeing a nice little marauder ball coming out of here uh, possibly only that one marine to be honest with you but we got another SCV going in for a scout as well as the first zealot that came out of the uh, the gate moving over to get the second one now this marauder came out just in time he's going to be able to um, he doesn't have concussive shells automatically but he's going to be able to um, hit and run him kite that kite that zealot as the second zealot comes in here he might be able to with that zealot out won't have destruction but this zealot is going to be going down very quickly unless he gets out of there luckily they move at about the same range if not the zealot only slightly faster so it will be able to get away uh, especially with that concussive shell not done 
and we do have a stalker but it looks like the stalker is coming back this way actually as we have a third gateway coming up for the protoss player so three gateways and what is that that's just another pylon coming up so we got three gateways on one side we've only got two barracks on this side with a bunch of marauders coming out so uh on the protoss side getting uh heavy stalkers and maybe going here's a robo facility in the back somewhat hidden so uh, stalker units and maybe some colossi, although doing charge lots versus, uh, versus the um, versus marauders that do have concussive shells uh, is very helpful. They get slowed down, but then they charge right back in. And oh boy, something happened. I think somebody logged on to uh, the Into Starcraft thing. Anyway, I'm going to check that out in a second and see what happened to those videos. Anyways, back to this one. I'm sorry about that. Um, thinking out loud. We do have that SCV tried to get in there for another scout, probably blocked away by, by, the, um, by the stalkers right there. And we have a sentry and another stalker coming in. Let's look at the uh, development tab, see what's going on. Robo facility is still coming out. More marauders. And we've got a fourth gateway going out. So we got a four gateway robo. Robo's about to finish. And we should see either an observer or colossi come not Colossi, I'm sorry, an Immortal coming out. Uh, looks to be a, nope, a Warp Prism, so it looks like some type of harass or uh, 